All right. So where are we? We are in Glenwood Springs. Yep. And we just picked up this 2020 Toyota 4Runner TRD Pro with an eye key. And so we're going to sleep in that. And uh, just a little bit bigger than our uh, than our little car over here. And so there we go. And it comes uh, handy dandy. It's going to flop out this way. No, it's going to flop out on the other side. Yep. On the other side. And then we've got this uh, awning. wonderful awning right here. Uh, wonderful folks at Bighorn Toyota and uh, 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 Colorado Overlander. And we'll link to their website. Yeah, absolutely. And so, uh, yeah, we're kind of kind of packed in here. And I think uh, we're going to head on up into the flat tops, uh, do a little bit of Sleepy Cat, uh, Hayfield, Buford Road, good, good stuff. So uh, come along with us as we uh, have a great, great Labor Day weekend. Okay, bye-bye. We started out in Glenwood Springs and proceeded down I-70 to Newcastle, where we got on the Buford Trail and moved on up into a whole bunch of Forest Service roads. As you can see, we went about 100 miles that day and ended up sleeping uh, just underneath Sleepy Cat Mountain. The very first part of the trip is on paved roads and gradually it uh, kind of works its way on down into gravel roads. I think we saw more aspens just this single day than So we've made it up to the uh, kind of the top. We're about right here now. Okay, still on this uh, uh, Buford Road 24 or, or a 245. A little bit washboardy, but um, you climb up about uh, 2,700 feet, and uh, then up here at the top, uh, of course, uh, start to see different trails. You got a nice uh, restroom facility up here. And we're in this uh, Buford, Newcastle Road, White River National Forest area. Look at all of these. Just incredible uh, aspen. And uh, they're starting to turn um, as we're coming on up. So we can start to see some different colors. Uh, pretty dry summer here this year, so we're... Uh, here we are, West, Ac Wells, West Elk Trailhead, down that way. TRD Pro, and we're uh, we're overlanding like like all of the people who spend a lot of money, and like we we rented this for seven hundred dollars. Seven hundred dollars for three days. Uh, we've got the camper uh, uh, up on top like that you saw, and uh, we don't have to worry about going down roads like these. But we need to be smart still.
All right, so for all of you people who um, are already overlanders and have been doing this for years, don't laugh at us too much because um, this is the first time we've done this and I know it doesn't look like a really steep uh, grade and not a lot of rocks, but uh, we didn't want to get stuck. So, hey, you know, deal with us. Doing good. That's awesome. <laughs> this is the real test. Anyone behind you? Not that I know of. Okay, thanks. We're just uh, out here for a little lunch. And after lunch, it was on to the road again. It's really interesting going from the forests out to the very high prairie, and then back into forests again, and then back into the high prairie, and back and forth and back and forth. Well, after leaving the flat top um, Aspen areas, we went into Meeker and then down to Nine Mile Gap so that we could get over to Sleepy Cat and spend the night sleeping there. Well, this is uh, this is our view for the night. We're up at Sleepy Cat, Sleepy Cat Mountain. Wow! All right, so there's a little uh, 
there's some smoke from a fire over there across the bridge. But uh, check this out. Oh yeah. Hey, look at this. Oh, we've got. Here we go. Now we can see. We've got little liners going inside of our. Look at all of the room that we have in here. And then we've got. This looks out to the sky. And back here, this is the hard part. It's like a queen bed up here. How'd you do? I slept well. Like normal. I didn't. Kind of like normal. But that's okay. We figured out a couple of the things that we need to do. Some like foam mattress. And we figured out there's actually some shades there that... I guess, but you know what? This is what we woke up to this morning. How about that? So I'll take that. Night one. I think a pretty big success. Yeah. You? I agree. All right. Okay, so that took about an hour and a half to get out come down to breakfast all that sort of good stuff break camp took us three shots to get the uh, eye camper down closed all the way because we uh, we left too much stuff in there we thought we could leave like a blanket and the uh, sleeping bags but I guess not so up and down and up and down and up and down and uh, we're packed pretty to the gills but uh, look at this the Sun is coming up 8 30 and uh we got places to go here's here's our morning drive uh, there's nothing like getting jostled first thing in the morning now what is kind of interesting is that i think i kicked my back a little bit from all of the jostling going on i know i gigged it last night trying to uh do circles in the mummified sleeping bag trying to turn over so uh you know uh, maybe this is a massage it kind of feels that way a little bit burg, 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 burg. <laughs> shortly thereafter we found ourselves south of glenwood springs in carbondale and then we followed the crystal river all the way to mcclure pass Crystal River. Ah. South of Carbondale on Colorado 133. We are on our way to Keebler Pass to go to Creston Butte. And we think that's Surus or Capital or something mountain in front of us right, right there. there. No, we've never been on this road before. 